Welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be testing out this Ryzen 5 5600 CPU that has one missing pin and some other pins that have been uh, straightened out that were previously damaged. It's a little hard to show off where the missing pin is without a proper microscope and camera, but it's right around here where my finger is. And you can see a little bit of discoloration due to where the vent pins were right around here at the tip of my finger. I was taking a look at this very handy pin map for the AM4 CPU line. And the missing pin in particular is B23, which is labeled VSS right here. I won't pretend to be an expert. And an AI overview on Google calls the VSS pin a ground reference voltage pin remarking that there's hundreds to allow power and data to pass between the CPU and the motherboard. And this Reddit comment saying VSS is voltage source supply. If it's just one, there's a good chance it will still work since there's redundant VSS pins. So we'll see if that's the case with this CPU. I'll be installing it onto this Azeroc B550M-HDV motherboard and just using a regular Wraith cooler once I put the heatsink back on. All right, so I was able to get the CPU in the tray and it is laying flat. You'll notice that there is a little bit of dried thermal paste around the edge and I'm just gonna clean off the top a little bit because this is just for testing. I might do a full clean later on. I did have to clean off some thermal paste off the bottom and for that I used a toothbrush and some 80% rubbing alcohol compound. Okay, so everything's put together. We have our little mini test bench set up. Let's cross our fingers and hope for the best. All right, and we have the satisfaction of success. There we have the Ryzen 5 5600 showing up in BIOS. So that's pretty awesome so far. Now the next step, we'll install Windows and start testing out the CPU and see if we can find any irregularities. So I've got Windows 11 installed and everything seems to be pretty normal. I've got the latest version of Cinebench, so we're going to try to benchmark the CPU and see what happens. And I've got hardware monitor loaded up. And so far, everything seems pretty normal. We'll start with a CPU multi-core test. We're about four minutes in and so far so good. That little Wraith cooler is definitely putting in some work. The temperatures are a little bit high, but not too bad. And the power consumption seems really normal. So again, so far so good. So the Cinebench single core results have popped up. We're all done. Everything seems pretty normal. I think this CPU is working just fine. For a gaming simulation, I pulled up MSI Combustor. I know this is more GPU focused than CPU. However, I just wanted to monitor the power consumption and see where we're at, and also see if there's any stutters in performance or some weird activity of any kind. This little dual fan 3060 Ti is working pretty hard. I'll probably play around with undervolting it, but the 5600 seems to be all right. So I think this concludes our test for today. Let's call this one a win. However, before I do anything else with this CPU, I'm going to be testing it even further. So I'll make another video if something does happen to fail or if something negative happens. But for right now, with the Cinebench and MSI Combustor results, and just for general use for the last like 24 hours, we seem to be in good shape. So you can take this video as some kind of anecdotal evidence that you can still run a AM4 CPU with one missing VSS pin. Of course, the results may vary, so let me know in the comments if you're facing a similar problem or if you found a solution yourself or if you've done the exact same thing. I'd love to hear about it. I just want to clarify this is not a recommendation. It is merely an experiment done by somebody with some experience. So thanks a lot for watching and have a great day.